room. So it took me a long time to clean it up. But let's yoga. Um, all right. We are going to, so I want to start the practice by explaining kind of how I teach and what I do. Um, so what we're going to do today is going to be a lot of just like what yoga is to me, which there's a lot of uh, conflicting information about yoga and what it really is to different teachers. And so for me, as a teacher, it's really learning how to come into your body and recognize what you need and not doing a specific shape in a certain way. It's doing a shape that makes it so when you're a mom of three boys, you can pick two of them up in the forest or you can lift one up into a tree or if you're not a mom you can <clears throat> hike and bike and run and when you're doing those things you can use yoga to help you feel better or if you're um, a breastfeeding mom and you're like this to open yourself up and so I consider it more functional yoga than shape-based yoga so we're gonna start by coming into our body in kind of like when I say begin to move, we're gonna start with the, our upper body and then kind of based on what you need, starting with your shoulder blades, moving to the rib cage and then to the lower back and then the hips, okay? And so it's just stages of your body that you'll find different spots where you're like, oh, like this morning I did yoga and my shoulder blades and upper back were so tight, which is what inspired me to go live again because I was like, yoga is amazing. So um, I'll do my best to talk you through this and it's hard because I'm on an iPad, so we'll see. Anyways, so let's start by closing your eyes, finding your breath. Oftentimes we spend so much time. Alexa, stop. I'm sorry, I was trying to play music and it's just too, the music is not chill. So we really wanna like bring it down. If your day is anything like mine has been um, and you're like moving around or if you've been super sedentary and disengaged from your body, um, Let's start, and I know I'm restarting, but here we go. Find your breath, wherever that may be. Just inhale through your nose, exhale through your nose. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your nose. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your nose. Continuing that breath, just hearing your breath. And now you're gonna to begin to just move your, sh your right shoulder blade towards your left knee, left shoulder towards your right knee, and just kind of moving your shoulder blades on your back, slight twists, really coming into your body, feeling your torso move. Maybe letting your neck drop. Continuing to hear that breath. Open your chest and then coming in. So this is called cow and then pushing your spine behind you coming into cat. Open and push your spine behind you. Open and push your spine to the back of the room. Open. And now I want you to kind of walk your hands in front of you 
And if that's too far, just keep your hands on your knees and just keep moving your torso towards the floor. If you want more, you can kind of twist from side to side with your hands on the floor. If you find a spot that you want to open up a little bit more, you can do that. Maybe walking your hands to the left, open. <coughs> See, this is why we're not doing stuff in person because somebody might sneeze by accident. All right, now walk your hands to the right and open. And then down towards the floor, walk your hands towards the left and open, feeling your rib cage. How does that feel? Maybe bringing your chest towards the ceiling and the floor ceiling and floor, walking your hands to the right, open and close, open and close, crown your head to the ceiling, pausing here, finding that breath. All right, we're gonna to come to hands and knees. And you're, we're gonna do cat-cow. And so I like to tuck my toes, especially at the beginning, because my feet typically need more. So let's kind of bend, like go from side to side, opening our feet. And then one vertebrae at a time, starting with your tailbone, open your chest. Tuck your tailbone, spine to the sky, come into cow, and cat, and cow, and cat. Then move your hips from side to side, opening that rib cage. Maybe sitting back on your heels and coming up, and then doing both sides. All right, Whew. now we're gonna get ready to go come into Downward Facing Dog. So, I'm gonna have to tuck in my shirt. I have my street clothes on for this. <laughs> so, all right, tuck your feet, and then bring your knees up off the floor. Bring your bottom to the sky, and then rock from side to side. Letting your arms and knees bend. Maybe it feels good to have your feet wide. Ooh, that gets my adductors, like the inside of your thigh. Come up onto your toes, bend your knees. Come back to center. Keep patting your feet back and forth. Bending your arms. If you have tight shoulders, you can always have bent arms. There's no reason that you need to have straight anything in yoga, despite what you've learned. All right, and then resting in downward facing dog. Walk your feet to your hands. And then moving from side to side, keeping your knees bent, feeling bouncy. Yoga is meant for bouncy, not rigid. All right, and then bottom to the sky. I keep a bend in my knees because it just feels better. I feel like I get more of a stretch all through my back body. But if you like them straight, go for it. If it's the floor is too far away for you, just bend your knees even more, or bring your hands to your shins. Step your feet back to downward facing dog. Bring your right leg to the sky and allow your knee to bend. And then just kind of rotate that knee around in a circle, however it feels good. 
All right, and then you're gonna step your right foot in between your hands, come down, we're gonna stay straight legs, straight leg lunge. For me, anatomically, it feels really weird to have my knee in between my hands. So I always walk my foot out and then I come here. And I want you to just kind of rock forward and back, side to side. Using that cat-cow. Cat as you go back, cow as you come forward. Pausing here for a moment. Really pushing through that left foot and feeling that in your left foot. Then stepping back to downward facing dog. Arriving in stillness. Playing with your hands being wide, your feet being wide. And kind of finding where it feels most comfortable. Bringing your left leg to the sky. Stepping it in between your hands. So if you need to, you can, if you stop here, you can bring you pull it forward with your hand. If this feels good for you, fine. <laughs> Let me get this tucked in. And then for me, I like to have it on the outside. You can have it on the inside of your hand or the outside. I don't care. It's whatever feels best. And then I rock from side to side, really feeling that hip in the joint and then rocking forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. Stepping back to downward facing dog, taking the time to pad your feet back and forth. Bending your arms, playing with where your hands are and then arriving in downward facing dog. Walk your feet to your hands. Inhale, flat back. Bring your crown of your head to the wall as opposed to looking up, tucking your chin, forward fold. Flat back, coming into your cow, and then rounding, coming into cat. Open, coming into cow, rounding, coming into cat. Bringing, bending your knees, bringing your hips over your ankles, rolling up one vertebrae at a time. This is where my head's gonna get cut off. Inhale your arms up to the sky, hands to your heart. Allow your breath to calm your heart. Bend your knees. Step back to warrior two. So we're here. And here I kind of want you to rock forward and back. And then playing around with your arms feeling your shoulder blades, pulling them, your hands apart from each other. All right, looking in front of you without looking at your toes. You can look at your toes, but try not to. Bend both knees, step your left to your right. Inhale your arms up, hands to your heart, close your eyes, come back into your body. Feel what's going on in your body. Bend both of your knees, step your right foot back, bend your left knee, rocking forward and back. 
feel with your feet. What do your feet feel like? Kind of use your feet to plant yourself and then arrive in warrior two. Back, bending both knees and then looking forward you're going to step your right foot next to your left inhale your arms up hands to your heart and breathe now we're gonna step our feet I step my feet pretty wide here I'm definitely wearing mom shorts today <laughs> All right, um, I'm trying out my new summer clothes game. Okay, so you're gonna come into a squat. Even if you're up here or here, like and that's all your body will let you do is come here or here. You can walk your feet wherever it feels good and kind of arrive in it. Even if your feet are up, you can walk your feet and kind of like play with your hips into a place where you feel good. And then I always give a slight lift in this pose. All right, bring your hands down. We're gonna come down to our backs. Come down onto your back. Rocking your knees from side to side. Continuing to hear that breath. It doesn't need to be super audible so that somebody can hear you in the next room or even on the next yoga mat if somebody was next to you. It's just awareness of that breath. Maybe rocking to the other side. Letting your hands go off of your knees and let your knees rock from side to side. 